Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. In between episodes I did a few more Quent games and we are now down to four that we still have to do before we can go to the tournament. Which I still don't know if I release it or not. It depends how interesting it will get. But today we are going to do another question mark without quest swipe off the map. <laughs> and uh, one is right behind me. Here. I traveled to Gelenzer farm to grab it real quick. Might just be a place of power or something. I do not know. Entrance. It's a cave. Oh. Ah, it's one of these. Okay, cool. Where we have to clear a cave so that the winer can use it as a storage. This seems familiar. Sweep up here. But haven't we been here? I'm not sure. Whoa there, sir. I guess those swords on your back aren't there as festoons. They're not. Maybe you could help me. If I would know what a festoon is. Well, there's a cave that to my mind would be splendid for aging wine. Not over dry and none too moist. But well, damn things full of noise. The arse clenching so clinkety bangety <laughs> knockety kind. Sent my clerk in to see been two days, and he's not back. I reckon it's ought to do with the elven ruins. Law. That about the cave. So, lend us a hand, will you? Sure. Could help, provided you can pay. Ah, oh, that's not bad to okay. start with. Ha. <laughs> People Fine. here are so friendly. I'll have a look in the cave, see what lurks there. Okay. So it's either spiders, or maybe if it's clickety clanky and screeching, it's oh. maybe a. Oh, I looted that. All of them. It's maybe a. What are they called? Yeah, these rolling things. There was something, wasn't there? Oh, it's a gargoyle. Okay. Gargoyles are no choke. And they want us to go down there. Didn't he say it's a dry cave? There's a pool of water. Can I? Ah, I nearly could. <laughs> but that's not the way. Okay, gargoyles. Oh, great. Um, don't even know. Ugly bastard. Yeah, that's for sure. Get out! Get out! No, it's bit. Gargoyle puke, but it seems to be immobilized. It seems to be dead already. <laughs> okay. Trapped is the way to go. And here's the guy. That's been missing since two days. And it indeed is an elven ruin. There are more... And it's here. Okay. Give me the trap. The Quen buff is really nice. No, it's gone. And my trap is gone too. And the gargoyle is gone too. <laughs> Everything's gone. Wait, that's where we came from. Ah, that's where the entrance is. What's down there? 
a lake. Is there something in the lake? Is the question. There is not, is the answer. Oh, well, there is. I was mistaken. Uh huh, there's more. some silver. Okay, cool. That's that. Oh wait, I think I can get out of here. Or not. But we haven't seen many gargoyles yet, so that was interesting. Oh. <laughs> of course. Witcher or not, you've still to bust your bum. What? Is it over? All clear now. Did you manage it? Yeah, all taken care of. And four core witches lay about some freeloaders. Bollocks. Storehouse will be ready in two days at most. And here on in, you've cut rate prices on all my goods. Awesome. Not from around here, are you? Nay, from Povis we are. Wandered south for the climb before the first war. Chills up north were giving me wifey lumbago. What you got on offer? Wouldn't mind a glance. Cheese and a lot of wine. Okay, cool. So long. Did that. And earned some money that I don't need no more. Which is sad. <laughs> uh, okay. To get to that question mark, we either ride or travel that distance, but I think. It might be faster to just ride if we find that road. There it is. Okay, roach buddy. What a nice bridge, isn't it? Oh, these are the ruins with yeah, the yeah. excavation, isn't it? Oh, and what? What the? Oh, spiders, of course. Um, and we might want to cross, actually. It saw me! Right, Roach! Oh, can we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is the yeah, excavation. For sure. There's the road. And more spiders. That's a guarded treasure with splatters. Oh, not what I wanted. But it might help nonetheless. Oh, or not. Or not. I cannot attack. Sorry, Roach. They are vicious. So many! What a mayhem! Oh, I have one. It's really impossible to evade. 
to oh gosh it would be awesome if you could find that one out here come on Ah, I can't do anything when I'm... Right, that makes sense. Come on! Leave my horse alone! Out. Oh, what a mayhem! Come on! Get out! <laughs> oh. Crazy stuff! Still a food, so that's okay. I'm confused. That's okay. Happens. What? Oh, dang. No. Where's the guy that's already hurt here? The Garking. Let's finish up. No. If I can. I think I did. Whew. Okay. One less is something. I'm really not doing too much damage, right? Whew. Yes, yes, that's good. No, the other guy, the other guy. <laughs> then dead. If you insist. I think I should have used fire. They burn pretty well. Seems at least. Don't you have loot for me? Ah. I looted you already. Now the treasure. Ah, it's one of the archaeologists. Professor Noel Ivers journal. It has been kept critically, full of stains, bloods and incomprehensible scribblings and the entries are not dated. Every day I regret what I said then. How could I have been so foolish? Why did I not agree to become her assistant? Fire upon you, base ambition. Oh, Isabel, forgive me. Enough in action. I am off to Beauclair. If I find you alive, Isabel, I will fall to my knees and plead forgiveness. And if, if you're gone, enough of this wallowing in self-pity. Time to get to work. I've chosen the most talented and hardworking of my students, and for my assistant I have named my most clever adjunct, Philip Borat. The Academy Chancellery has accepted the plan for our expedition. We need but collect our equipment, then hit the road. Unbelievable! Philip had the audacity to point out to me that eating eggs... Uh, we read that already! We found that in the chest at the excavation. That's odd. So... He had a... A double. That's funny, actually. Let's loot that and read it. An old letter. That we don't know of. My dearest Noel, I know you don't support my decision. Understanding it was not easy for me, but I have decided. I will lead the expedition to the Terramus ruins. The information I might acquire there will mark a new height in my career. I do not know what arguments I would have to use for you to understand. I do not seek to rival you. I understand this is a matter of ambition to you, but our scholarly work should not affect things between us. I believe once you have pieced it all together in your head, you will join us as my assistant and together we shall, shall discover. Yours forever, Isabel. Hmm. So, she wanted to work together with him, but he didn't. And he regretted it. Okay, 
I saw some drowners down there, but I think they are not worth the hassle. We go back to the palace ruins. Oh, hello. Maybe not. Maybe we do hassle with the drowners and get down there and swim across. How about that? Ah! Whew, survived. Well, maybe we just leave him be. <laughs> That is so cool. Those two mountains. They are across that river. Let's go for a swim. I don't think there is anything, but they look so cool, and we saw them through the whole game as a landmark. I'm just curious. Oh, an old camp. Was there drowners? Most probably. They burn well. Hello? Damn, you're ugly. <laughs> Colorful versions here in Toussaint more. Right? They're more colorful than the ones in Velen. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's a key. I see it. And orders. Timon, hold off on fishing out the cargo. One of you drowning is enough. I've sent Go and Do to you. Before those lads join your hun our Hanse, they were pearl divers in a panel colony in Gamera. They'll have an easier time bringing up the chests. Once you get the goods, return to the Carburetta Woods. There you'll join Imerick Tapeworm's crew. Together, you're to pick those academics camp clean. Tents, pallets, food supplies, you're to take it all to Mount Crane. We could do with a bit of comfort at the Castle Cropian Academy's expense. Just try not to sink any more boats. Filibert. Ha! Filibert's dead. All the Hanses are gone. And these guys are dead too. But that wasn't me. Ah, there. Now we dive for the goods. That's the pearl divers. Oh, I see them. Let's get ready. Okay. Two more. Sneaky guy. Wants to. Uh, come on! Come on! <laughs> okay. Where's the treasure? Maybe we should breathe. Yeah, I think we should breathe. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of stuff. But not what I. Ah, uh, there.
Nice. Can I read underwater without drowning? Yes. Supplies notice. Invoice of receipt for the below listed equipment delivered to the Imperial Academy at Castle Cropian Archaeological Expedition led by Professor Noel Ivor. Name of the equipment. Haulage tray. Quantity 1. Freightage cards. 3. Expedition tents. 5. Sleeping pallets. 10. Blankets, 10. Tool crates, 5. Wool crates, 10. Wine crates, 20. <laughs> Seems about right. Acknowledge receipt of above mentioned equipment. Professor Noel Ivor. Signature of person marginally responsible. Luca F. Wren, Junior Quartermaster Clerk, Chancellor of the Imperial Academy at Castle Cropian. Awesome. Might be just herbs. I mean, what's that? Yeah, one wood. I think this might be a chest. Oh, and this too. Some nails. Nailed it. Uh huh. There's more. That wasn't worth it. <laughs> but we got it. Okay, there's no usable boat. But I wanna have a peek back there. Now that we are here. I wish there was a boat so that we could try boating through. something a dragon it uh oh <laughs> it saw me the land for pass now we know at least how it's called it's cool Ah, yeah. Okay. There's something. Oh, <laughs> it opened by itself. It was not me. Have you been in that cave? Hmm. Most probably, right? He's leaving the map, and we can't. That's life, I guess. The life of a witcher. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, we have never been that close to it. And Whoa. I think I think we have been here. Oh, that's I think where we fought a hunter, right? That's where we came out. Yeah, must be. Otherwise there would now be something on the map, or there would be people here at least. Okay, cool. In that case, yeah, that I think was the hunter. And we went all the way through, came out there. But now we are checking out that. And then maybe going the northern route round. They're in the distance, that's that's the Hansa for, isn't it? A 
job this latter lady. I can always get a new one. Okay, I think we're close. Should be there in the mountains. Oh, oh. Hey there. Ghouls. Ghouls? For goods we, ghouls we need art. At least the spiky ones. That one's done for. Yeah, here. Spiky one. Maybe it's not art then. Come on. <laughs> but they die easy. Okay, what is that? Guardian? He at least had Florence. A lot of explosives. That is nice and cozy here. Ooh. Found the treasure. A lot of things. The slimmest pickings yet. Haven't even seen a stray mud on the road for a week. Since that last caravan we robbed, the one carrying a transport of fat bag for workers at the quarry, we've had nothing. Zero zip. Luckily we ate our fill after that, gained a slight pounch to hold us through hard times. But if those times last much longer, we'll have eaten more supplies here than we've looted. And everybody thinks being a bandit's nothing but wine, wrenches and merrymaking. Should have listened to Mama and finished school, or at least started it. Tomorrow we head back to Mont Crane. We'll have to look around for a new spot. The lads are getting bed sores from so much lying around on their bums. I mean, he does write pretty well for not being at school. Or for not having been at school. Okay, nice little camp that we found there. There are ruins. But we must have seen that area here. Okay, now the question is, do we go north? Yeah, I think we do go north. We grab these, then we have a quick look at that area, although I really think that uh, we cannot enter it as much as we couldn't enter here. So this fog of war here is much bigger. It goes right around here, right? And then most probably also around here. Run, Roach. Or in that case it's a fog of blindness, not of war. Of of map ending. <laughs> fog of map ending. That's a thing I'm sure of it. Oh, there's something down there. Might just be wolves. Or is there a new hey there. question mark now? <laughs> we never know, right? No, there's not. But it might happen. What a what a scenic not so fast, Roach. route here. Dang. I would love to go hiking here. Oh, what do I hear? I hear stuff. Slow now. Yeah. Oh, and the stuff is killing other stuff. <laughs> it's the dragonet. That's roaming these lands. We read about it even. Okay. Is this what we are setting out to kill? No, it's more bandits. 
Oh, these might be the last of the hunter. Oh, come on. Oh, well, last. We still have a few question marks. Ha! Got him. <laughs> oh, not that. <laughs> okay. He's frozen. Or whatever that is. They do a bit of damage. Not good. Maybe he called me. Okay. No archers. <laughs> Very cool. Archer is down. Your last man standing? I guess so. Come off your corner. No, you're bleeding. Let's dance. Dang, it's blocking a lot. Come on. Don't taunt, attack! <laughs> ah, they have a lot of food. Oh. The other good stuff that I don't need no more. Aha! Uh -huh. There's the journal. Day one, Willibert sent us to collect supplies from the Bassane farm. I stayed with most of the lads in camp as always and sent a few to go strike a deal with the steward. Hubert Sturetz, a reasonable chap, never gave us trouble about taking supplies before, so it seems we are in for an easy job. Not like hunting flying monsters or lying in wait for caravans coming, coming down the road. Day two, Nikolai and Pablo Gav have not returned. Something stings. And it's not my foot wraps. I'm taking charge and leading a group to see what's going on. If those peasants at Bassein have done something to my men, I reduce that farm to moldering ashes. Day 3. The farm's been demolished, but no sign of Pablo or Nikolai. We only found two hay seeds. I'll take them back to camp for questioning. Both howl like madmen and mumble constantly about some werewolf. They'll cool their heads in a cage for a while, maybe get more talkative. And where are the bamboo bases are my men? Ah, we've been to Bassein Farm and liberated it. Oh, up there, yeah, there's one of them, and there the other. They have beer, not wine. Where are the others? I need those onions. <laughs> okay. We are moving on to the next one. I think most of these will be bandit camps now because we're close to one of the hands locations, right? Gilia. But it's interesting because they all refer to each other. So it's cool to learn the story behind the men we kill. <laughs> Wait, we are here, and it's not a bandit camp, it's a fork tail. Okay. Come down here, I don't want to fight you 
on those rocks. Hey! Okay. If you insist. Ugh. Disgusting. Nah. I can't stand there. How can I tease it to come down? Maybe. We should use other bolts at least. Uh, split bolt? I think those are the best. Plus nine, right? Minus two, minus eight, minus eight. I mean, they all don't do much damage. So, yeah. Oh, it's two! Come down here, please! Hmm. Maybe if we mo move a bit. Maybe it will fly. I think it's stuck there somehow. So in that case, I can try to climb that and fight it from here, maybe. That could be. Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh gosh. Mm, then let's at least burn it. Burn it with, with fire. Ikni. Maybe it takes off then. Oh, we can maybe art it down from its... Oh, oh gosh, I cannot... Yeah, cannot do anything here. Then I try to push it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, here. Get unstuck. No. Let me at least attack here. Come on, take off. <laughs> ah, that's horrible. Hmm. I could I could burn it more often. Does it burn? Yeah. Okay. So we just burn it. To death. Roasted chicken. Roasted pork tail is on the men menu. <laughs> That's annoying. Oh, I can hit it from here twice. Good. Oh, no, no, you need to get closer. But then it spits. Maybe I can. Yeah, yeah a bit. I can reach it. Oh, stay there. Oh, oh, it got unstuck, didn't it? It got unstuck! Not anymore. <laughs> That's annoying. There we go. Yeah, I think it clipped through those Dracula rocks, nest. kinda. Need to destroy it. Huh. Oh yeah, I could have used bombs. I always forget that I have bombs. That's not good. Okay. I think apart from the one up in the air at the castle, we killed all the dragonets around here. It's pretty mean. If you are a dragonet. Okay. I think we look at that. And then try to get into that territory. Just because I'm so nosy. There are these awesome stones. Come on now. And I think it's a druid's place. But I also really think that we cannot get there, to be honest. <laughs> but I'll try. Not so fast, Roach. What are these ruins? Oh, I know, that's where we fought a banshee or something? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yes. Yeah. That's it, Roach. That was cool. <laughs> oh, a monster stand. But there are wolves. Are the wolves the monsters? Seems so. Or at least they're co inhabitants of the place. Yeah, here is a den. So many. They're so evasive. I don't know why I'm still taking everything. It's just a habit. Maybe there's more monster. Ah. Yep, there is. Oh gosh. More wolves. Is there a safe way to get down there without dying? Does not seem so. Ah! Come on! Okay. Now you? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. That wasn't so bad. There's more. This is no simple wolves, then. And it used to be a storage. <laughs> Somebody stored a lot of materials here. Oh! It's a werewolf, then. Yeah, sure. Why not? But it's still interesting that with some werewolves we don't have the chance to lift the curse or are not all werewolves cursed. Oh, he ate a sheep. He ain't eating no more. Oh. Yes, let's see, somebody lived here. So the werewolf was a person, I think. I wish we could learn about it. Ah, we will. She sells red. Many pages of the journal are filled, but the last is dirtied and written in a chaotic hand. It is done. Countess de Sacor has bought the same farm and after so many happy years, we have to leave our comfortable abode. When Hubert received the eviction notice, he flew into such a rage, it took a great deal for me to calm him. I explained it was already a miracle we'd been able to live so long among, among men. I fear Hubert will prove unable to control his transformations while he is in such a state. We've moved into a cave in the pleasure forest. They allow us to take a few possessions from the farm, we have a bed, a table, and some candles. Things aren't so bad. 
the cave is a bit damp, true. And one night in, I can already tell it will play havoc with my joints. Hubert had an attack when he heard me cough. He screamed he would return to the farm and sink his teeth in the Countess. I have a, I have a bad feeling. Hubert has disappeared. I'm terrified. Shivers run down my spine. I can taste blood in my mouth. I fear Hubert has gone off to kill. What will become of us if he, if he loses all control? The remaining pages are torn out, claw marks visible on the back cover. So it was Hubert. And he turned for good. And he killed his wife? Here, have a fire. What a sad story. Most of the stories here are sad. Oh wait, that's the roundabout. Where's the way out? Yeah, that's the way out. If we can climb up there. We can. Ooh. So yeah, a lot about the same farm around here. And there are the stones. Let's have a look. There's a broken bridge and an elven ruin. So maybe that's real deep elven territory. That's a chunk of distance. Oh no! I can't! I knew it. Okay. That is so mean. But now we know for sure. Okay. Well, I'm sad now. But we can look at it and it looks cool. But I think that's what they mentioned in that one book, which we uh, found in that crypt at the statue of Lebioda with the druids. But now I can get rid of that marker. How mean is that? Look, it looks really into the map and it looks as if this part of the map would be reachable. But alas, it's not. So question mark hunting we go. No, not more wolves. I have my I have had my fill of wolves. They're still following. Oh, what's that? Oh nice. Look at that. Garden. We've been here. No. We've not been here. Oh! Finastris Hermitage. There there's a quest! There's a quest! <gasps> Look at that! What makes you insist on me as your victim? What a nice hat! Oh, I love it! And she can look at that awesome place the whole day. She lives so close but can never reach. Although the NPCs can, right? I can't. <laughs> oh, kitty. Let's first snoop and read up on what's happening here. Oh, I can't. I thought I would read the book. <gasps> A manifesto. Fellow sons and daughters of Labioda, the end is nigh. Mend your ways and put your faith in the good tome. For our prophet has written, to shun the pleasures of the flesh and shirk from comfort is at times recommended. And to value one's neighbor's fortune above one's own comfort is commendable. That is why we, the Eighth Day Fletchlands, scorch ourselves and torment our flesh to ensure all folk of the world enjoy long and prosperous lives. Whatever evil, sickness or misconduct lurks in this world's dark corners survives not because we have been negligent in striking our backs with the whip. 
Okay. You do you. I don't judge. Well, I do, but not loudly. You're tormented. By what? Forgive me. But I must ask directly. Are you a man? I... I no longer trust my senses. Mm, well, I'm a witcher. Not exactly. I'm a witcher. Quite a few folk think I don't deserve to be classified as a member of the human species. Know some personally. A witcher? But no. Nor can you help me. We'll see. Just tell me what the problem is. A foulness. A demon or wraith haunts me. Grants me no rest. It wants something. I sense this, but know not what. Each day it appears, tarries, then leaves. It's here now, there, beyond the trees. Don't see a thing. Of course not. It cannot be seen. Yet you see it? Only when I drink with you, which brings a pain to my head. Nausea. But I endure these to keep an eye on the wraith. My tormentor. Don't drink it then? This demon of yours, can you describe it? It is an enormous horse. Its hoof feats pounding in the dark. It gallops to me, stops, stares, then runs on. But sure it's not just a wild horse, <sighs> run of the mill? The creature is not of this world. When it gazes at me, a terrible chill pervades my soul. It is evil contest. Its eyes black, void. Each time it comes, terror grips me. I cease what I'm doing. Still my breath and heart. That must be a hell of a drug, that brew. What's your brew made of? <laughs> Gotta wonder what's causing such strong visions. You drop in some mushroom, <laughs> jumper tub, dancing doula? Magic yes. mushroom. The common grey top. I see you know your herbs. Great up. Variety's extinct, if I recall correctly. Nearly, but not quite. I was able to grow a few from dried spores. I'd hoped a brew of great up would reveal this nightmare. I was not wrong. As far as I know, great up produces some powerful side effects. Though it can, in fact, reveal the hidden, the immaterial. Yes, I see the evil. Better that than to know what is there, but not know where. Hmm. Need to talk about how much I'll get paid first. Is it gold you want? Florins or Novigrad crowns. Florins will work too. I've none of any gold. I've nothing, in fact. Just potatoes in the cellar. A good crop this year. Tend to this quickly, completely, and several sacks will be yours. Agreed. Okay. Well, I don't need potatoes, to be honest. If that's the case, no pay required. Need those potatoes more than I do. She's happy now. Fine. You seem sure something's out there. I'll see what I can do. Start by taking a look around. Okay, that's interesting. And we stumbled upon a random quest. I love it. And what a beautiful place she has. Man, I envy her. <laughs> there are elven ruins built into the whole thing. There's the cow. Oh, it freaks out. Uh, what the? She has a wolf. Yeah, sure. Why not? And goats. And some wine. <laughs> she doesn't have only potatoes. Medallion's vibrating. Magic nearby. Just can't see a source yeah, yeah. anywhere. I know it's on the other side, but I, I need to look around. It's so nice here. She even has an old statue in her garden. Of an elf. Dang. Okay. Yeah, oh, it goes on and on. Yeah, that's where we came from. And terraces here. Ooh, look at that. 
Love it. Oh, I see a cave entrance. Whoa! Whoa! She's fine. The cat too. Okay. Does she know of that cave? I mean, she must. Yeah. There's her wine store. <laughs> Storage. <laughs> and the potatoes. No, I don't take them. They oh no, we are taking them. Dang. Said I don't and then I take them. Do I have to? It seems so, right? Are they no ordinary potatoes? Okay. Then we do take them. Are they enchanted? Does she trick me? Uh. What? Um, okay, now I stole all her potatoes. Can I give them back? Maybe that was a test? I shouldn't have stolen them? Yeah, I think I shouldn't have taken them. Can I give them back? Witcher. She knows, right? Heard flagellants whip themselves to atone for all humankind's wrongs. To appease the gods, gain their forgiveness. That why you do it? We reach our own reasons. I seek to atone for the suffering of a living womb, which once fell victim to another's vanity. I care not for humankind, preferring instead the company of Atmos. Yeah, we saw that. What does she sell? What do you have to sell? I'd like to take a look. Oh, she actually doesn't have gold. That's awesome. Does she have something special? It doesn't seem so. Take care now. Gosh, we shouldn't have taken the potatoes. It was just a habit. <laughs> oh, oh. There we go. It's dead butterflies. Hey, kitty. Hmm, Ventrake root is actually good. Okay, let's explore from here. Dead moths. Oh, moths. Attracted to some ghosts like to the light of a candle. But mm. why are they dead? Seems there's at least some truth to the hermit's ravings. What's that? Oh, these are the mushrooms. Common gray top. Strong hallucinogen. Not extinct. Often get to see that. Can we take him? Drops of blood on the pillow. Trail of them leading to the window. Something drinks the hermit's blood at night. That I know. Ooh. Gotta talk to her. Maybe she can tell me something more. Can I put back the potatoes, please? That'll be bad. I shouldn't have taken the potatoes. <laughs> Witcher. Most likely some kind of wraith's tormenting you. Can't tell what kind, though. Felt weak? Spent lately? Notice bite marks on your skin? As I said, I feel weaker by the day. And bites, of course. There are lice and midges here aplenty. This isn't lice. Something much bigger drinks your blood while you sleep. But I do not sleep. Not a wink. He's always present. Always watching. I cannot bear it any longer. Sadly, not much I can do. I can't exterminate it if I can't see it. The great top. I shall make a brew of it for you. I've two mushrooms left. Enough for one dose. Perhaps then you'll see what I do. Oh, yeah. I want to have some of these drugs. This me could produce some nasty, unpredictable side effects. True. There is no knowing how great top would affect a mutated body. Let's try. <laughs> I'm all in. Mm -hmm. 
through could be our only chance to figure this out. All right, high time we tried this. start muttering something about unicorns or sorceresses <laughs> ignore it <laughs> oh that's funny <laughs> either she's tricking us and testing us And she is the monster. Oh, it's true. Gerald? She tricked us. I think. Oh gosh, <laughs> what's happening? Uh, don't see no wraith. Wow, this clover's amazing. Now that's what I call a bouquet. Who said that? Oh, you're awake. Had me worried. You were out way too long. Even considered giving you some white honey. Kind of hard to do with hooves, though. Roach? Isn't she a steed? Your voice. It's, uh, interesting. Gotta say, I expected a young mare to sound... Uh, girlish. Based on what? Your vast experience with talking animals? As far as I know, I'm your first. Good point. That's so funny. Must be the brew that did this. Interesting side effect. Great, isn't it? You should take this stuff more often. <laughs> Got so many pointers I could give you. Can't, sadly. Drinking this too often could prove fatal. You're a witcher. Come on. <laughs> hey, you know how you always show up when I whistle? How's that work exactly? Well, you're my human. Gotta be there when you need me. Yes, I'll be there for you, ooh, ooh, as the world falls <laughs> down. <laughs> Still kinda strange. I get across the ocean when I call sometimes, but then get hung up on the tiniest fence. What's that about? Uh, what can I say? Everyone's got <laughs> limits. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Listen, got this contract I need to finish before the brew wears off. Right, monster won't slay itself. <laughs> Let me see. First up, I need to know what we're dealing with. Follow me, and try not to trample any plants or small animals. <laughs> What's with the cow? Can we just yeah, chat with we Roach some this more? Area closely. I'll look for clues. You stand there and... Well, just stand. Right. Will you look at that? <laughs> Don't see anything here. These are hoof prints. Not just any old horses either. <laughs> These were left by an astral being. <laughs> or the world would. We gotta follow them. Oh, that is so amazing. Roach is a proper witcher horse. Geralt, look. This here's definitely a clue. The moths? Dead moths. Often mean a phantoms nearby. Thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> now, what about the smell? <laughs> Same whiff I caught at the cemetery in Vizima when they were hunting ghouls. <laughs> the smell of death. Smells normal to me. Not taking me for a ride, are you? Uh, seriously? 
Oh, the puns are dropping. Oh gosh, that's so funny. All right. Now I know what we're up against. <laughs> Tell me more, Roach. Right, Geralt. Let's sum up what we know so far. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, we know pitifully little. Don't know much. It's a spirit of some sort. Torments the hermit for some unknown reason. It's immaterial, so I've got no idea how to fight it. If we can even find it, that is. <laughs> Geralt, please, I got this. It's definitely an umbra, an immaterial wraith. This one's assumed the form of a horse. An umbra actually makes sense. Umbra are completely invisible, even to witchers. But how can you be sure? Because it's not invisible to me, doofus. It's right over there. <laughs> oh! It actually is. It's getting away. Come on, Witcher. <laughs> hop in the saddle. <laughs> Gotta catch it. <laughs> There's the Umbra. Let's go, Geralt. After it. Okay. Well, then go, Roach. Hey. Gotta save my strength a bit. No telling how long we're gonna need to keep running. Yeah. That's awesome. I wonder if we could have spoken to the other animals. The cow and wolf. <laughs> Geralt, we gotta have a man to horse talk. No offense, but your riding skills, they leave a bit to be desired, buddy. What? You'd really do me a solid if you could uh, apply a slightly surer hand, be a little more decisive about where you want me to go. <sighs> Sometimes I got no idea, buddy. Do I go left, right, toward where I'm standing? <laughs> Great if you could respond more fluidly to my commands. Hey, heard this one? Horse walks into a tavern, and the innkeeper says, Hey, pal, by the long face. <laughs> that wasn't a good one, Roach. It's not loose side of that umbra. Can you see it now? Yeah, it's right there. Run, Roach. What the fuck do you think I'm doing? <laughs> <laughs> Can we please always talk to Roach? Or him to us? Her. As long as we're being candid, I gotta ask. Why do you sometimes buck me off in the middle of a fight? First I've heard. Don't recall that ever happening. Of course you don't. <laughs> oh! Melted into thin air! Oh no! And now! Roach! What is that? What is that? Panthers! Oh, Girls, watch out. <laughs> yeah, thanks! Okay. Good gods! <laughs> so we we oh gosh! We we fight Panthers. That's fine. That's fine. No, 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 let me let me cast. I cannot cast. There. <laughs> no, it's stuck. No 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 no. I'm too. Oof. <laughs> what can I do against apparitions? I don't have enough stamina. Do we need... <laughs> oh, I got one! It ticked. Oh no! Oh no! Ah, oh, there's more. Come on! I wonder what we're actually fighting when we wake up, kind of. Well, the, the drug simmers down. Examine the gravestone. Roach, talk to me. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh 
no, I cannot. Can I examine anything else? Where are we on the map? Oh. Okay. What is that? I can loot it. There's a sword. Can I not first examine? Cello Clerici, knight, died last year, was more or less the same age as our hermit. Seems his spirit's become a horse-shaped umbra that's tormenting Panastri. Why are you telling me this? I can read and draw my own conclusions. <laughs> Thinking aloud, that's all, helps me focus. <laughs> Roach can read? Geralt, it's the Umbra! Attack! Let me explain! Talk, but make it fast. Why are you tormenting the Hermit? She torments me! Refuses to forgive me! I'm denied peace in the afterlife, and it's all her doing! Each day I come and beg her for clemency. Beg her for clemency? You drink her blood, drive her mad with fear. I don't know how to explain it, but yes, the monster's force takes me. Though I also know I'll not have peace till the day Pinastri forgives me. What have you done? Yeah. You and the hermit, how do you know each other? We met as babes, grew up side by side. I... I loved her. Yet she was always sad, nothing could cheer her. The world terrified her. I thought her gloom came from being poor. So I did my damnness to take us from our village, make us a better life elsewhere. Became a squire, took her with me to the palace. But Panastri soon learned nobles are no more decent than peasants, not a speck. Once even I'd grown vile to her eyes, she fled the palace and joined the flagellants. I left the court to be near her, yet she cast me off, said she didn't want to know me. When the whip bearers proved too hard-hearted for her, too, she became a hermit. I see it clearly now, though I never understood her while alive. From the grave's dark depth, the living are bright, sharp flares. You see all their thoughts at once. Now I understand why she had to cast me off. She's full of rage. Probably what turned you into an Umbra. Why take the form of a horse? A horse? What do you mean? Each day since I died, a power lifts me from my grave and, and makes me run. Then I return with blood in my mouth. I don't know what this is, how it comes to pass, but I do know the torment will continue until she forgives me. But she sees me as a horse, you say? Seems so. Same way I saw you. Hmm. Must have hurt her something awful if she refuses to forgive you, would rather see you suffer. What did you do? To her? Nothing. But my horse, I, I... I flogged it to death. Pinastri, she saw this. Proud stallion, my blaze. But he was a bucker and tossed me during a tourney. One I'd wanted to win badly. 
Clemastri had been so glad they'd let me stand. Me, a peasant's son. I wanted to win it for her. But that horse made me loose. Rage overcame me. I struck and struck until at last he fell. Oh, the regret. I beg you, forgive me. Absolve me in Blaze's very name. I, I can't do that, can I? Maybe Rouge can. Yeah. Can't forgive you for that. Not in my power. But your horse could? Please, I'd do anything. <laughs> I'm desperate. Help me. Noble Mayor, forgive me my sin. <laughs> I mean, if we don't forgive him, then he will come back forever. So, if we want to help the hermit, we have to forgive him. And he seems to regret. Nonetheless, that was not okay. The horse was not at fault, it's the rider. Huh. Yeah, I mean, it's it's Geralt telling Roach, forgive him if you can. So, in the end, Roach will decide. And not us. Yeah. Could free his spirit. Pardoning him on behalf of his horse. But you shouldn't do it if you don't think yeah, he deserves good. forgiveness. Did a rotten thing. Got no excuse. Your horse was loyal. Did the best damn job he could. Cause that's how we horses are. Oh. True. I know I deserved what befell me. But we aren't vengeful. Don't hold grudges. Don't dwell on being left in monster infested woods. So, in your poor Blaze's name, I forgive you. Oh, thank you. I feel it's incredible. Such relief, such lightness. Oh, Roach. <laughs> well spoken. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> Guess we might as well head back. Penastri's nights ought to be ghost-free from now on. Anything to add, Geralt? Nope. Let's go see her. No, I want that sword. No, no, no. Stay. Stay. Where you are. Oh, dang it. Should have taken it when I had the chance. Phantom's gone. Shouldn't torment you ever again. I felt a change. I did. As if I'd been released from a cramped dunk cellar. I had come to believe no one could help me. I'm grateful, Witcher. Ought to thank my horse, actually. Phantom's departure? Mostly Roach is doing. Then I thank you too, noble creature. <laughs> Gotta admit, easy peasy with our powers combined. So, what now? We hit the path, ride to the nearest notice board, rustle up another contract? Exactly. No, effects of the bruise waning. I can feel it. Won't be able to understand you soon. Ah, that's horseshit. I mean, I got so much more I want to tell you, and... <laughs> oh no. Clever beasts, horses. Farewell, Witcher. Can we have more of that brew? Please? <laughs> Roach! Give me more! Witcher. It would be funny if we could buy it now. What do you have to say? I'm sell? trying. I'd like to take a look. Nope. Nope. We can't. 
take care now. Aww. Roach. <laughs> Cow. That was so funny. And I'm 99.9% .9 sure that I did not encounter this quest ever before. <laughs> that is so funny. But now, before I end the episode, that's important. Um, the Saint Farm. It was here, right? I need that sword. Slow now. <laughs> that's a serious matter. We rode quite far, didn't we? Uh, while pursuing the ghost, I mean, the horse. Oh man, now I don't wanna... Torment Roach <laughs> with, with too much speed. I hope the sword is still there. Please be there. Yes, it is. What is it? What's it called? Oh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't worth it. <laughs> but that's a cool graveyard. Well. What's in that pot? Five florins. Thanks, man. Woman. Well, <laughs> that's it, though. I end the episode here, and uh, I think in the next one, we will check out... Oh, yeah, now that we are down here, we will check out these question marks. Then grab that in the north. Oh, there is a single one. Then come down here. Oh, and down there everywhere <laughs> man but in between i might do some more went games maybe 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 and i'll meet you at one of these question marks so thank you so so much for watching this episode what a jewel that quest was right that's why i want to do all the question marks because otherwise i'll miss out on stuff and i cannot have that so <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Have a wonderful and adventurous day and goodbye.